All right, I've got a fun little problem here we can kind of explore. So imagine with me, you're on a boat and you're leaving a harbor from some, uh, some island and we're given some initial conditions. So let's say in brown, I have the outline or the coastline of my island. And here at, point, at this black point, I have my harbor where I have a boat leaving. And I'm given information that the boat's going to travel 25 miles at a bearing of north 42 degrees east. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of draw that out as best as I can. So north 42 degrees east, which means he's going to head out roughly this direction. This angle right there is 42 degrees. Um, so north 42 degrees east, he travels out 25 miles. So this distance from here to there, we can say is a 25. All right, we get word. Uh, that the captain changed directions, he's changing, he's, uh, he's turning his boat clockwise uh, at a heading of south 48 degrees east. So let's kind of figure out, I'm going to put a kind of a north-south line on there, and he's going to go 48 degrees from this, from this north-south line is 48 degrees, and he travels out, I know, 18 miles. So that's where he's currently at. So, well, what do you want to know? Well, I want to know how far is he from the shore. So that would be this distance right here. How far is he from there? And if you were to return, um, and what was the, his position? What is his position relative to uh, the harbor where he's at right now? So a couple things I can do is, is one, I know I have a right triangle. Um, and with having that right triangle right there, I can go ahead and use Pythagoras to figure out uh, what the side is. And so that's uh, the square root of 25 squared plus 18 squared. And I'm going to use my black box for that. So 25 squared, uh, or the square root of 25 squared plus the square root of 18 squared. That gives me 30.8. So he's 30.8 miles from shore. The bearing that he's at is, I need to figure out what this um, bearing right there is. So what I don't know is, I just don't know this right there. So if I can figure that out somehow, I can do that. Well, one of the things I can do is I can think about some of the, the, the trigonometric functions I have. So figuring out this angle right here, well, that's the, I can look at the, the inverse tangent of opposite over hypot or yeah, opposite over adjacent. So what is the angle that's produced with a tangent of 18 over 25? Again, you can use some other different uh, functions that you choose. Uh, I'm going to use the inverse of tangent. So let's crank that out, put that in the black box. I want to make sure my black box is in degrees so that my result is in degrees. So I can do inverse tangent, second tangent, uh, 18 divided by 25, close parentheses, uh, and that produces a degree of 35.75 or 35.8 degrees. So now I know that this angle right here is 35.8 plus the original 42. So I can say that his new position is north. Uh, 42 plus 35.8 is what? 77.8. 77.8 degrees east. And so that's the information that I was curious about. And that was the information I was able to find.